Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet link below in the video description. I'm happy. It looks like Reba's back put together, huh? Uh, I will say it, it definitely looks strange without the pearl white gas tank. Uh, but I don't hate it. I, well, I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. Uh, as a matter of fact, this aftermarket tank uh, is bigger than the stock tank for the CMX250. This is a 3.4 gallon compared to a 2. Point, I can't remember, a 2.6 maybe on, on the stock. So it's, it's a wider tank. And uh, I mean, I don't know if I really, I'm, I'm still gonna try to clean the other tank out and swap it later. But I mean, really it looks like Roxy the Rebel now, you know, and if I had, if I got some uh, black fenders, these are available on eBay for about 22 bucks in black. And then the whole bike could look different. It wouldn't, but you know, anyway, so new tank, brand new dual carburetor installed here. Ed helped me so much. We fixed the throttle cable here that was all messed up and jerry-rigged from a previous owner. Uh, let's see the other side got a brand new petcock on here also which is cool because this new aftermarket one actually has two built-in filters up here uh, one for the regular gas of course I left it on again and then also the lower uh, reserve also has a separate filter as well as a strainer filter here in the bottom before it goes to the carb as well so uh, luck luckily uh, we have a few filters added and I do I think you could still fit a small one there. I just, they're not in stock right now. But um, yeah, so Reba the Rebel, looking different, but <laughs> in case you miss some of my updates, um, I picked up this bike for 500 bucks in Oregon over the summer. And uh, the first time I rode it, you know, 75, 80 mile an hour and just did great, but leaked fuel like crazy. And then, um, eventually over the course of the next few weeks started having some performance issues with the bike that we thought were we thought were related to the fuel system uh it would sputter and die and have idling problems as well as some problems shifting through the gears uh but actually there's one more thing i gotta do i forgot one more thing I'm gonna put two new spark plugs on her first and then uh we'll fire her up see how she sounds see how bad they are Huh? They're not horrible. A little gunked up, but growing a new one. And the other side. Hmm. I don't know. They don't look that bad, actually. All right, well, the existing uh, fuel cap fits right onto there. Got the vent hooked up. Let's go ahead. Is it in neutral? It sure is. And choke it. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and edit that part out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, she sounds good. Sounds like a Honda. Let me get some gear on and uh, go for a little test ride. All right, we're out here at the main road. Let's give her a shot, see how she does. First gear. Oh no, it's doing it. That is so weird, it's still doing it. Oh, wait a minute. No, nope, still doing it. Come on. Yeah, so at this point, I'm getting ready to shift into fifth gear, but I mean, it's still just sputtering and my max speed is I think 45 right here. That's that's top speed. Hmm. Nothing. 45 mile an hour. And my hand is all the way on the throttle. All the way. Like Nothing. It's way. just no power. That I do not get. 
an entirely new fuel system. Everything in the fuel system is brand new and replaced. And I still have this lack of power, hesitation, new spark plugs. Uh, I can't, I'm, I'm running out of things, guys. Uh, max speed 45, that is a far cry from 75 to 80 when I first got this bike. 45, and that's me feathering the gas and really, really trying hard to get this thing up to speed and it just won't do it. There's just no power and it hesitates and acts like it's starved for gas. Um, so besides plug wires themselves, I don't know, I, I'm gonna get back to camp. Just make sure there's nobody behind me. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I think I got a lemon. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know how much more patience and energy and money I want to throw at this bike. Uh, this, is, this is not this is not the way I envision it in, in my mind. Um, never quite had motorcycle problems like this. So uh, any of you motorcycle mechanics, you saw and heard and you know what I've done. Um, besides uh, new wires and a new motor, <laughs> uh, am I missing something? Uh, I am at 6,900 feet here, high, high elevation, but this problem started between Oregon and Nevada. Well, I guess it is still high elevation in Reno. But no, these carburetors, it actually says in there that uh, they're supposed to auto-adjust to elevation. But still... Well, let's hold off. I'm, I'm, I'm not giving up. I mean, I have to take the bike back to get registered anyway, and so... But... I don't feel safe out there. Not when I don't have acceleration and people are flying by doing 80 miles an hour. So for right now, we got tater tot back. We tried, I, I'm not giving up. That's, that's all I'm saying. So it's not always nice, pretty and sunshiny. I'm kind of glad we got all that sorted out in the first part of the day. Cause now we got some pretty heavy rain here at base camp actually. So everybody's gone back to their RVs. It'll pass, there's some clearing out over there. But, uh, and look at this. Kevin's turned his multi-use garage here into a little hangout. I like that, guys. I like it, guys. Keeping the skeets out. Got a few bugs. Got a couple bugs in here. We're getting them out. Nice, nice. We may have uh, our uh, spaghetti supper in here as well. That's a good idea. Break the can, you're cooking spaghetti and uh, oh, garlic, bread, garlic bread, garlic bread, five o'clock. Be there, be Sounds square. fantastical. Got Reba in here. Uh, keeping her dry. I'm still gonna work on that tank. And Kevin's got some other plans for the garage here too. I mean, it works great for the motorcycles, but uh, you're gonna, you're gonna put in what? Shower? Well, it depends on what I find, either a tub shower or a 48 inch seated shower. And then um, a, a, like a, a, what do you call them, laundry sinks? Yeah. A washer and dryer. That'd be so great. Everybody that stays here will have access to a bathroom, toilet, washer, dryer. Good shower. plan. Good yeah, I'm gonna do it for my own good, you know, because you know, a lot of these van dwellers don't have showers. <laughs> I just put a bucket in the back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Opie, how does that sound? Have a little indoor cuddle day? Sounds pretty good, man. Where's Tara? You don't need to hide, Tara. It's okay. It's just rain. I know it's been a while. It happens, though. We'll get over it, guys. Yeah, we'll have a good kitty dad day. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. It is hailing like crazy. Um, holy cow. I have never seen rain and hail like this. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That is insane. <laughs> what a storm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out, guys. Not very interesting. Uh, not, and not exactly the news I was hoping for either, but it happens. <laughs> we'll get through this. Uh, I think, I think Reba is gonna be a paperweight decoration for Skeletor. Might even be, end up being a parts bike later. Unless something magical happens and we can figure this out. But uh, right now, I'm taking a pause, okay? I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye-bye.